So if you guys didn't know this past weekend, a Twitter user by the name Liam, who works for GTA Base, reported on a delay for GTA 6 to 2026, and it had everybody shook. It looks like it convinced a lot of people, including myself. But as Rockstar didn't comment on anything as of yet, and Jason Schreier, who's big in the gaming industry, said they weren't hearing anything concrete on their end either, looks like things are finally settling down. Now I personally think a delay is still very likely as this is Rockstar we're talking about, but as a result of everything, a lot of drama ensued. The one who reported the delay Liam received a lot of backlash. Twitter is crazy. Legacy Killer HD faced a fair bit of backlash as well. Now I don't really care to get into any of the drama, but essentially when Jason Schreier didn't co-sign the delay rumor, Legacy Killer HD also started getting a lot of backlash as he was one of the many people who thought the delay was real. But that's not what we're here for today actually. In the midst of all this, Legacy Killer HD started speaking on some of the alleged bits of information he gathered about GTA 6. I'm guessing he's getting this information from people he knows at Rockstar. So I actually wanted to take a look at some of these statements he made on Twitter about the game and take a look and examine them. So he starts out talking about the game world being massive and the world being full of content. Big spoiler, I know, it's a Rockstar game, it's gonna be big, it's gonna be a lot of content. But what's interesting is he specifically talks about the world has lots of countryside and towns, which I think is really cool. You usually just have one centralized city and maybe a small little town, like in GTA 5 where you have Los Santos as the centerpiece and then you go up north and you have some of the smaller towns. In GTA 4, obviously, you just had the city itself and uh, he talks about the length of the game. Apparently it's shorter than Red Dead Redemption 2, which is fine. I don't think the story needs to be like, you know, ridiculously long as long as it's a quality story and that the gameplay is good. I think that's all that really matters. He states that one central theme is criminals figuring it out, which I interpret it as the story is likely more emotional. Uh, it's more focused on the struggle of these two, Jason and Lucia, specifically the struggles of a younger couple trying to make a way in the world. He also mentions family struggles, which immediately to my mind, I go to the baby rumor we heard not too long ago that Lucia and Jason potentially have a baby together, maybe. He also goes on to state that there's still a lot of insane missions, you know, that the game isn't just solely down to earth and grounded. Uh, you know, you still have your high action, over the top stuff that GTA is known for. It looks like some of the missions are inspired by the Fast and Furious movies. If you know anything about a lot of GTA stories, you'll know that they're often inspired by real life movies. The character Nico Bellic, he's inspired by a character from Behind Enemy Lines. GTA 5 is inspired by the movie Heat. I have a theory that GTA 6 is inspired by the movie Beyond the Pines. It doesn't surprise me that they're also taking inspiration from Fast and Furious. Makes sense. A lot of over-the-top action, popular movies. Good source material to pull from, I think. Uh, he goes on to state that Lucia is the central character of the story, uh, similar to how Michael is the central character to GTA 5 story. I think we kind of saw that coming. I mean, they chose to make Lucia the focal point of trailer one. He goes on to state that a lot of the intro from the game was already leaked on Reddit, which I'm sure people are going to have a fucking field day trying to track down this posts. Looks like Lucia and Jason have separate intro missions. You know, we get a better understanding of who these characters are, what are their motivations, what are they like. So that's definitely cool to hear. Looks like there's corrupt cops and I guess a corrupt police chief, um, which we've seen that in, with uh, San Andreas, Officer Tenpenny, so definitely interesting to see. Um, looks like Russians are creating chaos. <laughs> Russians definitely do have a long history in the GTA series and they often are causing chaos. Just a lot of things you expect from a GTA game are going to be in, in this GTA game. He also goes on to mention that there was a lot of planned content that just really didn't make the cut. One example is online protagonists were going to be voiced. I'm not the biggest online player. Protagonists not being voices to me is not really a huge deal. Maybe some people care about that. I don't know. Looks like a lot of the fidelity options, they're going to try to bring that over with GTA 6, but 60 frames per second is probably not going to be likely. Yeah, that kind of makes sense, I think. This is a true next-gen GTA, you know. GTA 5 was a PS3 game, so I'm guessing once we get the PC port, we'll be able to get the game running at 60 frames per second. Assuming you have a PC that can run it, I don't even know what kind of monster machine you're going to need to run GTA 6, but we'll cross that bridge once we get there. But honestly, 30 frames per second is going to be more than fine. I don't think frame rate's necessarily everything, you know. It's it's nice to have 60 frames per second, but I don't think it's going to be a huge deal breaker once we actually have the game in our hands. He goes on to talk about how like some of the devs are saying this is the best project they've worked on at Rockstar, which is definitely good to hear. You want passion and care and people enjoying what they're making. You want them to put love and passion into this game. He goes on to talk about how the work-life balance is a lot different. They're not being overwhelmed to death. They're not being crunched to death, which again, very good. Looks like a lot of vets were ready to go after Red Dead Redemption 2. Again, more crunch to get that game out the door. This one, this one hurt bad. This one, I'm not gonna lie, this one struck deep. It looks like the basketball mini game was cut. If you're a fan of San Andreas, you'll know that that game had a basketball mini game where you could just go shoot around with CJ. I loved it. I was really devastated that GTA 5 didn't have a basketball mini game, and it's on my wish list of GTA 6, but it looks like it was cut at the end of 
of 2023 so i hope it's not true i hope we still get the basketball mini game but uh yeah that that does suck that's that's to me honestly that that's more devastating than a potential delay i don't want to put too much stock into these leaks in general because again at the end of the day so much stuff does change but i do think legacy killer is a pretty reliable source i don't think he would just make this up but yeah that's the video guys um leave a like if you like the video subscribe we're on the road to 1k uh, if you enjoyed my content and you're looking for more check out this video here one thing every gta is best known for or check out this video about gta 6 and the unrealistic expectations people have for it